Hi, Mary Claire Nigeria. I am Olushola Lai Balogun, and in the culinary world, I am known as Chef Nita. Today, I'm going to be taking you into my kitchen and showing you some amazing Afrofusion recipes. Come with me. Making lasagna is always a labor of love because there are so many parts to it. So let's start from the easiest part, making the roux. So a roux is just a fancy term for flour and butter being mixed together. You season lightly, you add a bit of cream, and then you have a roux. Because the roux is used to thicken sauces, you need to be careful about the consistency. You don't want it to be too light and you don't want it to be too thick. Making tomato sauce is always fun because you can always involve your friends and family to make this one. Two things to note when making tomato sauce. The longer the cooking time, the better the sauce comes out. And note, you always need to stir your tomato sauce, even if the point is to dry it out. You need to concast your tomato, and that's just a fancy way of saying peel off the skin of the tomato. Authentic Italian tomato sauce doesn't always have a smooth consistency. So go in and blend some of your tomato sauce and leave some whole. You throw in the tomato and mash it with your spoon or whatever you're cooking with. So you make sure you have bits of the tomato in the sauce. Nothing smooth, we're not making stew. Add your Italian seasoning. So you go in with thyme, rosemary, basil, oregano. The dried one is good when you're starting out the sauce. And chef tip, add the fresh herbs at the end of your cooking. Once you've cooked to a certain consistency, you can add your ginger, garlic, all your other aromatics and seasoning. It's going to just look so delicious. And your tomato sauce is ready. In this recipe, we're leaning more to like the Afrofusion style. So I'm going to be using peppered goat meat. I'm going to boil the goat meat and roast it lightly and then add the pepper sauce. Boil your lasagna sheets for about 7 to 8 minutes. Remember, you're boiling in already salted boiling water. Don't put your lasagna sheets into lukewarm water. It's going to turn out terrible. For the ensemble, you have to remember to put the tomato sauce at the base. This is going to avoid your lasagna sheets sticking to whatever cookware you are using. I like to layer lasagna sheets, whatever meat is going in, some of the sauce and cheese on top. You can go as many layers as possible. Just know that this meal is very filling. For me, three layers is always good enough. To bake, you need to preheat the oven for about 10 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then you're going to put it in for about 20 to 30 minutes and then your lasagna should come out crispy on the top but really juicy inside take a look at this lovely lasagna it was so delicious i'm sure you can even smell it from your screen 